Organisational safety is a lot like personal fitness. How is that? Well, um, we just need to be able to enjoy moving. We don't need to be running marathons and whatnot, but we do need to be able to respond to the operational de demands um, that our business activities place upon us. So safety people, both internal and external consult, internal in-house people and external consultants are an excitable bunch and they'll be always, um, or typically, often, uh, pushing for um, you know, best practice and you know, such and such. And that, that is important. Um, but the thing is, we're in business and we all start from different places. We're not looking at, many of us would, would die and if we tried to have, if we tried to run a marathon tomorrow. Don't have the budget, the resources, or the training, or the expertise in able to do it. So rather than focusing on, you know, what best practice actually is, have a look at where you are, and look at how you can actually take measured steps moving forward. Never mind the marathon. Never mind the six-pack and abs. If you just peeled yourself off the couch from a weekend of sports, steaks, and beers, um, you know, a good place to start is actually maybe kicking the footy or uh, walking around the block and things like that. Getting getting to the point where you enjoy moving. And not, not, not focusing so much on you know, these aspirational goals. They will come in time. The beautiful thing about humans is you're never satisfied. So if you're just constantly raising the benchmark, look, if you can, if you can, bet, like if you can improve yourself week on week by 1% between here and Christmas, you're 25% better at Christmas than you are today. And that's a great improvement. Imagine if we keep that going over years. All of a sudden, your safety marathon and your six pack and abs, they'll start showing up. Get moving first, enjoy what you do, and do, do things in bite-sized, palatable ways in which you can actually enjoy that progression, as opposed to uh, enrolling in the gym, flogging yourself half to death, um, almost having a, having a stroke and ending up with all sorts of musculoskeletal injuries, and then never going back to the gym, because you got real keen, got a safety consultant in, they gave you a, a list of, of actions that was painful and hard to implement, and you actually don't go any further. Get the 1% is right, improve 1% week on week, I challenge you. If you've uh, got any questions, then I'm always here to help Australian workplaces become smarter, simpler and safer. Love to share that journey with you. So uh, any queries, certainly fire them across to me. Otherwise, I'll catch you next week. Cheers.